Welcome to another Hyper Content and Digital Asset Management Server screencast. This time I want to show you how to work with files. Actually, there are two ways. First is you integrate the system as a network drive, so you have access to all your files via your local file manager. So you can easily open the files, you can change them and just save them. That's it. But keep in mind, if you have, uh, for instance, a Photoshop file, Adobe Photoshop file, and you might not even have the proper software to work with it, or you're also not an expert when it comes to image editing, it's maybe a better solution to just use the functionality we provide here in our system. So let's say I want to extract a small part of uh, the Photoshop file and save it as a new file. First, I want to make a copy of this. So I keep the original file as well. And then I just open the copy by double clicking. And then I want to edit the image. So let's say we want to crop something here like this. You can also change it exactly to the white and height and so on, what you want to have in pixels here. Of course, you can also change the height and uh, white of the picture here. So by percentage, per pixel size, you can rotate the image and you can also change the brightness and contrast and you can save it in other formats as well. So this time I want to extract this portion here. Let's make a preview. Okay, that's fine for me. So I want to create a JPEG file or let's say a PNG file and now I click save. Uh, it warns me that the original file will be overwritten. I accept this. And there it is. This is my new file. I can close it now because I'm done. I just refresh here. And here I see I have now a charts copy PNG. And this is the new file I created now. You can do the same with uh, videos, for instance, as well. So let's see. We have here a video. I open the video by double clicking. So here we see the preview of our video and we can again edit the video. We have several possibilities like the video uh, screen ratio, the quality of the video, the video size. Uh, you can also cut the video and you can pick uh, a preview image out of the video. And you can select different formats. When you render the new video, you can also download the created file here. Another good thing is that uh, no, you cannot only edit the video, you can also embed the video. Let's say you have a website that is not even managed with uh, the system, you can still set some settings like autoplay, should the video be start playing immediately, enable full screen and so on. And this tag, you just can easily copy and paste and then the video is integrated into your web page. Okay, this is it about uh, working with files in the Hyper Content and uh, Digital Asset Management Server. I hope you join us again at the next Hyper and Content Digital Asset Management Server screencast.